What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 35. Today, I'm going to show you how to enable your automation to actually record your automation data that you input. I've been getting a lot of questions on this, so I figured, you know what, I'll just do a video on it to show you all how to do it in video format. So let's uh, start by turning on one of our automations right here. So here's my pad right here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit play just so you hear how it sounds in its original format. All right, so there it is right there. So to turn on your automation, you go to here where it says off and you got a couple options right here. You got read, touch, write, latch, and write. Basically, each one of them has a different purpose and I will get to each of them in a different video. But what I like to do just to um, just to, for a starting point, I like to turn on touch and then I can go ahead and start uh, inputting some automation. Keep in mind, you don't have to hit record to record your automation. All you have to do is hit play and then move the parameter that you want adjusted and automated. So I'm just going to take off my loop right there, go ahead, hit play, and then right now I'm going to adjust my volume. All right, right there I have uh, t adjusted and automated my volume. Now I'm going to open up my plugin. All right, so let's adjust my drive. So I adjusted that as well. And let's see what else we can adjust. Let's adjust my uh, release. And let's adjust our attack. And finally, let's bring in another plugin. So let's bring in a um, an EQ, and we'll do a single band high cut, and we'll adjust that plugin as well. Let's bring it in. I'm gonna go over here, hit play. And right there, you can see that I've adjusted all my um, parameters just by hitting play, not hitting record. Go ahead and play again, and you'll see everything is moving. If you notice the parameters right here. And that is how you record automation in Logic Pro. Very simple. Again, all you have to do is turn on your automation right here that on your track that you want to automate. So what I do as a starting point is just do touch. But again, I'm going to get to different one, each one of these uh, different uh, automation types just to understand when and why you should use those. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's it. So keep in, keep in tune for those videos coming up. And uh, more great videos coming soon. Remember to rate and subscribe. And uh, yeah, more great videos coming soon, guys. Later. Take care.